Hey guys, good morning. We're here on our last day at Ibero Star Rose Hall Suites here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It's another beautiful morning. Uh, hardly a breeze. Sun is out. Um, so I've been wanting to give you guys a walkthrough of the resort uh, to just kind of show you where things are and give you an idea of uh, where to go when you get here. So come with me on a resort walkthrough tour. And we're gonna get started, here we go. So this is out front. We're between the beaches and the Grand Hotel. So again, this is the Rose Hall Suites that permit families and children and stuff like that. So when you arrive, your suitcases will be here at the front door and then they will help bring them up to your room. So this is the main lobby. The sitting area when you come in, straight ahead is the elevators to go up to the third or fourth floor. We're currently on the second floor. So the main lobby and that is on the second floor. Here is your check-in and check-out. Um, station and then obviously the lobby there's the beautiful Caribbean Sea right in front of us so this lobby bar is open until like 1 a.m. so you can always get a drink here and Here are the beautiful stairs to go downstairs. And then there is an elevator on the far side if uh, you have mobility issues. So again, beautiful Caribbean Sea right in front of us. And this is a beautiful area where you can come enjoy the evening. There's always music playing. These big orbs light up. And it's a pretty chill spot in the evening. So I'll just give you a little view here. It's not an overly big resort. We have a three and a half year old. And we did not bring a stroller and she has been fine. We're over in there, in the family suite room, which I have a video to show you, which is actually two full standard size rooms that join from the inside. So depending on who you're traveling with, it might be an option for you. We're going to go back in the lobby and I'm going to take you down the hallway where the Star Cafe is, as well as the few shops and the casino. Uh, it's pretty easy. The shops are connected to the other hotel. So this is the Star Cafe, open 24 hours a day. Uh, we actually went to the nightclub the other night and came here and got some snacks in the middle, or late morning, I think, or early morning. This is where you come and book excursions, see your flight rep. So they have these TVs to kind of show you the schedule of the day. I couldn't really. Here is a short sports bar. Again, outside area. They play different sports games in here, trivia at night. Uh, you can win prizes and stuff like that. I must say, people are so friendly here. Everybody, cats. Um, this is guest services. So if you need anything, you can come here and they'll help you out. I actually had to ask about being a nurse for my daughter, but everything was fine. More of just a concerned parent than anything wrong. Here's a little casino. There's maybe 15 games in there. Uh, but when you get here, if you come to the left, is the Black River Theater, and this is sort of where 
all the shows happen in the evening, so not far from the main lobby. Ah, beautiful stage though. So mm -hmm. I do recommend coming to some of the shows. Their staff work really hard and uh, the shows are very nice. So then down there you have a few more shops as well as down there. In case you want to get some souvenirs. They also have people on the beach. Um, and they have excellent prices. Uh, very sort of authentic, hand carved pieces. We went to um, the Oriental restaurant here. Steak and lobster, the Greek and Italian. I will say, um, I've been to other resorts where the a la carte are really nothing special. I would definitely recommend you make your reservations here um, for the restaurants because they are excellent. So, if you come out, the main door is at the lobby. To your left is going to be the main buffet. So that's considered to be on ground zero. Um, so I'll just take you to the left and you'll see. So straight ahead you just cross that bridge and then you can get to some more chairs and straight to the beach. Super easy. It, it took us maybe 12 hours to sort of figure out the layout so it's not one of those resorts that you know you never remember where you're going. So again main buffet can eat outside if you like. So again, make buffet. Hot chocolate station, water. Cheeses and soups. Cold cuts. Toast. Fruit station, which is always has beautiful food out. Lots of nice condiments for your bagels. Then they always have a Jamaican section here at the back, which has beautiful, authentic food. Sorry about that. We thought maybe we could hang with it. Again, vegetables, freshly baked pastries, milk and cereals egg station as well as a smoothie station so like i said you'll always be able to find something to eat so back outside and we will <laughs> and we will do a little walk to the beach I will say the first day we got here, this was our first time in Jamaica. Uh, we chose seats that were in the sun. Uh, ever since then, we have chose seats that are in the shade. Uh, it's nice to have a little break out of the sun. It is very hot here if you haven't been here before. Maybe bring some extra sunscreen. Uh, we're used to traveling to Dominican. Um, and even though Dominican Republic and Jamaica are not too far away from one another. The sun hits differently here. So a little tidbit of info. So here we are. We're going up the middle of the resort. And look at that. You've got the infinity pool that just visually runs into the ocean. I will say it's been quiet the week and a half we've been here. But I like it that way. Then you don't have to worry about seats or service. 
here's the outside bathroom. Some games for the kids, and this is your towel hut. Where you'd come and exchange your towels. So they basically give you your towel cards when you arrive. You come get your towels. We change them at the end of every day. So we go out with fresh towels in the morning and then obviously the day you check out, you get your cards back. <clears throat> so as you see, tons of chairs, tons of space around the pool. We are currently 9.06, so you see it's pretty quiet other than me chatting. So again, seats everywhere. So this is your main pool. <clears throat> to the left through all the hazard, and that's where you can go and get some new artwork for your hazard and sales, your skin and then there's a fire on the beach there. The ice cream that we're going to get together, we're going to get together, we're going to get together. So that's it. This is looking at the resort from the other side. To your straight ahead, actually, from where I'm filming is you'd get to the beaches resort, which you have access to as being I guess at the Grand, or sorry, at the Grand and here at the Suites. Uh, and then we sort of get walking back here. So this is where we've sat all week, close to the pool, close to the beach, close to the bathrooms. So there's really not a bad place to sit here <clears throat> at the resort. Um, and we are on this side of the building. So here's another pool. Um, gets the sun in the late afternoon. I mean, gets sun all day, but especially at the late afternoon. Lots of, no, I don't want to say lots, but kids come in this pool with their families. There's lots of little toys they set up and it's a nice chill vibe. And then those balconies up there, the two on the second floor is our family suite and that's what we've been saying so there's actually a um, an entrance way here and then I'll take you right to the elevator and then up the stairs so again we walk that whole resort in what 15 minutes um, I must say it's a beautiful place to come We've enjoyed it and we'll definitely be back if you guys have any questions uh, about food or space or amenities let me know and i will answer as best as i can thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one